On today's quick tip, we'll be going over suggested all-terrain tire pressure. Welcome to Mboard's Quick Tips. Occasionally over time, after riding your board for a while, you might experience the pop tire, and depending on weather conditions and riding terrain, your tires will tend to lose air or pressure affecting the style and comfort of your ride. Generally, the lower your tire pressure is, the slower your board will go, along with a little bit less range but with more grip suitable for off-roading. The higher your PSI, the faster your board will go, along with a little bit more range, but with less grip, more suitable for straightaways and street riding with smooth paved roads. A few things to keep in mind. Each tire has their own PSI limits. For every change of 10 degrees in the outside or ambient temperature, tire pressure changes about 2%. Before you ride, be sure to double check to see if your tire's tread is wearing out. Depending on your weight, riders frequently change the recommended tire pressure. Lighter riders, around 130 pounds, tend to drop their tire pressure around 10 to 15 PSI, lower than the recommended pressure. Riders around 165 pounds usually keep their pressure right at the manufacturer recommendation. And riders around 200 pounds like to bump up their pressure up about 10 to 15 PSI. The lower your pressure, the lower the range and the speed will be, but the more strain to your ESC and motors. And the more grip you'll have, as well as a smoother ride. The higher your tire pressure is, the more likely you are to pop or damage a tire, but will have a better top speed and longer range. Just remember you won't have as smooth of a ride and will have less grip. If you're planning on taking your board off-roading, we suggest lowering your tire pressure by about 10 to 25 PSI. A tire pressure of 30 PSI is most common. If you're planning on taking your board cruising down paved streets, we suggest the manufacturer recommended PSI or a PSI based on your weight. Keep in mind to check for slow leaks caused by small punctures in the tire. If you're consistently having to refill your tires with air, consider the tube to have a small puncture and it might need to be repaired or replaced. The slow leak will affect your ride and can be dangerous to continue to ride on and is not recommended for use. And that's it. Hopefully this quick tip will help you preserve your board's components and give you a much more pleasant riding experience. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about all-terrain tires or anything eSkate related. Hit the subscribe button. We have a lot more quick tips coming very, very soon.